We'll show you, we will bring out the scripture and we will show you that you are the Jews of the Bible. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It says, it will come, man, you listening now? It said it will come to pass if you do not listen to God's commandments. And read, read on. To observe and to do all his commandments, yeah. which I command thee this day, Wait. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Ma, are we on high above every nation? You know that. But God said, if we kept his commandments, he will put us on high above every race of the earth. Verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. But it will happen, my brother. If thou will not Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It says, if you don't listen to God's commandments, read. to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses. Curses are a bad thing. They're an evil thing. A curse is a bad thing. It says, if you don't keep God's commandments, all these curses will do what? Shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. It says, you will be a cursed people. You will be a cursed people because you did not keep God's commandments. Read, give me verse 32. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Sister, did you hear it? Whose sons and daughters were given to another people, my brother? It happened to us in slavery. In slavery, they collected our sons and daughters and they gave them to other people. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long. It says all day long. We will have no power to bring our sons and daughters back. They carried our sons and daughters to Caribbean islands, to Brazil, to Jamaica, to America. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, uh -huh. and there shall be no might in thine hand. There was no might in our hand. There was no power in our hand to receive our sons and daughters back. Verse 33. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Pay attention. It says the natural resources of your land, another nation will eat it up. That's in the Holy Bible. That's called colonialism. That is what Nigerians are going through today. The fruit of your land, the Lebanese man is eating up. The fruit of your land, the Chinese man is eating up. The fruit of your land, the white man is eating up. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 33. Wait. The fruit of thy land uh -huh. and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. We don't know these nations. We didn't know the Lebanese man. We did not know the Chinese man. We did not know the, the white man, the Caucasian man. But they eat up our labor. We, they eat up the fruit, the natural resources of our land. The gold, the oil, the crude, the natural gas, everything. We don't. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Verse 41. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. You don't enjoy your sons and daughters. Your sons and daughters, as long as they can walk, they go out to walk. They are selling pure water on the road. You cannot enjoy your sons and daughters. Read on. Thy, thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, uh -huh. for they shall go into captivity. Read on. All thy trees and the fruit of thy land uh -huh. shall the locusts consume. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. The stranger in our land, the Lebanese man, 
the one that does not have a land, the Syrian man that has been driven from his land, he's the one you're driving now. He has come to Nigeria to oppress you, but in his own land, he does not have land. Oh, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, uh -huh. and thou shall come down very low. Look at it. We have come down very low. We are low people. The other nations come to Nigeria and, and oppress us. We don't. He shall lend to thee. He's the one lending to us now. The IMF, the World Bank, Lloyd's Bank of London. Every single time your nation, your government has to do budget, they run to England, they run to America for loan. Read. He shall lend to thee, uh -huh. and thou shall not lend to him. With all the wealth of this land, we don't even lend anything. We are, we are the one collecting loans. Verse 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Brother, it says all these curses shall do what? Shall come upon thee, uh -huh. and shall pursue thee, uh -huh. and overtake thee, uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Till we are destroyed. We are destroyed people. We don't know who we are. We call ourselves foolish tribal names. We don't call ourselves the name that God gave us. He called you an Israelite, my brother. He called you a prince that has power with God. That's, That's what right. God called us. The 8 and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Brother, it was because we did not listen to God wanted us to listen to. That's why we're oppressed people. Read on. To keep his commandments. To keep his commandments. God asked us to keep his commandments. Women, you're not supposed to be wearing trousers. That is a commandment of God. But you see how we laugh. It's a joke. God's commandments is a joke to our people. That's why we will suffer in this country. Because we don't take nothing seriously. Read. To keep Your his children will be oppressed because you don't listen to God's commandments. To keep his commandments and his statutes, uh -huh. which he commanded thee. We keep it. And they shall be upon thee. It says these curses shall be upon us. For a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder uh -huh. and upon thy seed forever. Sister, we are teaching that you are an Israelite. You are supposed to wear a dress. You are not supposed to be wearing trousers. You look like an abomination to God. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. That's what we are doing today. Today we are serving our enemies. The people that hate us, the people that rob us, the people that kill us, steal us, sell us to slavery, oppress us. That's who we are serving. We call them God now. We run. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent them against us? The Lord sent them against us. Because we will not obey, because we did not want to serve God. In hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness, and in want of all things. In want of all things. From our religion, to our education, to our clothing, to our feeding, we are still serving our white masters. Till this day. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Look at it. Look at it. Who put a yoke of iron on our neck? Who put a yoke of iron on our neck? This did not happen to the Jewish man. This did not happen to the Israeli man. This happened to the children of God, the Israelites that are here in Nigeria. Put it down. Until we have destroyed thee. Now we are destroyed. Now we call ourselves foolish names, a prostitute named this country. And we still call ourselves after the name of a prostitute. We have become the children of prostitutes. 64. We are going through these curses. These curses will show us who we are, that we are the children of God. We are the Israelites of God. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Uh -huh. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. Pick this up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Read again. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Uh -huh. 
from the one end of the earth even unto the other. From one side of the earth to the other side of the earth. And then thou shalt serve other gods. And when we went to those other lands where we were scattered to, from the east to the west to the north to the south, we would do what? Serve other gods. That's where we picked up all these other gods that we are worshipping. Read on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our fathers did not know this. Our fathers knew the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's our God. Even wood and stone. Give me your 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with sheep. Sorry, put it back up. It says God will bring his people into Egypt again. What is Egypt? He said he will bring his people into Egypt again. Get me what Egypt is. They have just walked out of the land of Egypt. Let's see what Egypt is in the Bible. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Pay attention my brother, please. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. Egypt means house of bondage. House of slavery. Go back to Deuteronomy. It says that he will bring us into bondage, slavery again. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again. With what? With sheep. Who went into slavery on sheep? Who went into slavery on sheep, my brother? It was us now. It was our forefathers and foremothers. Our brothers and sisters were rounded up and sent into slavery on sheep. This is history. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. When we arrived in the Caribbean, we were sold unto our enemies, the white men. When we arrived in Mecca, we were sold. When we arrived in India, we were sold. When we arrived in Jamaica, when we arrived in America, we were sold. And no man, sorry, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies, the bond men and Slave man and slave woman.